Uh, greetings all. Good morning, or uh, it's good afternoon, actually, isn't it? Um, hi, uh, my name is Nicholas Corby. This is the uh, weekly um, daily FX and IG uh, cryptocurrency uh, webinar. Um, usual disclaimers, um, views are here today are mine, mine alone, and are not the views of or solicitations of business of uh, from either daily FX or the IG group. Um, Thank you, Gavin. Apparently, you can hear and see me, so all is good there. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, please fire them through. Today, I have to say, today's market, or the market in the last week, has been, oh, it's been a bit, a bit of a tough one. It's been a bit quiet, a slow grind higher. So, what I maybe do is, I, I might going to, I'm going to ask a, a, some some questions, uh, and I just want to get a bit of a feedback from you. But we'll do that in a few minutes' time. <clears throat> Let's um, first of all move on with this. Um, okay, get rid of the mug shots. Um, and here we go. As I said, the market this week's been pretty quiet. Um, we've had a good pullback from the uh, what, the February sixth lows back when we got down to about six thousand odd dollars on. Um, uh, yeah, we within a second, Martin. Um, yeah. so when we got down to sort of six thousand dollars, we've had a sort of slow grind. Here. Actually, let's just just jump on the chart now. Actually, uh, here we go. Uh, as you can see, we've had this from there's your low. Uh, we've had this sort of slow grind high. What I quite like about this chart, though, and which is uh, I feel sort of fairly bullish about. So we're getting these um, l uh, higher lows. There, 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 there. Okay, a bit of a dip there. Another higher low, another higher low, another higher low, another higher low. Uh, approaching this, uh, well, I think it's quite an important band. But what I'm, I suppose I'm trying to say is that the volatility, in, as, as you can see in these markets here, has been quite quiet. It's, it's, you know, we're not getting these big swings, these big candles that we've been seeing here throughout the, you know, the trading life of Bitcoin. Um, yeah, the market just seems to be grinding higher. Uh, I was looking around today, and I, I wrote a piece earlier on, and it's very difficult, actually. There's no, I think the, the whole thing is there's no negatives out there at the moment. There's, there's, uh, there's nothing bad. There's, you know, there's been no bad news to, to give the bears something to chew on. Um, all the news that we've had coming out is fairly blandish, just maybe mildly positive. Uh, we'll go through a couple of them at the, in a second. But really, as I said, I think the market's characterized at the moment by a slow grind higher. Um, and I think it's going to take a little bit to get some of the volatility back in there. So one question I would like to ask is if there's anybody out there, uh, and there's quite a few of you in this virtual room, who um, day trades, Bitcoin or Ripple or Ethereum. Um, so if you're a day trader, if you're an intraday trader and you've traded in the past, say, the past week, uh, well, yeah, past week, could you just maybe let me know your thoughts and, and, and how you found it? Has it been difficult? Have you been able to find uh, spots to get in and out of quite easily? Have you closed your computer and walked away with it? I just quite a, quite like to know if there's, any, as I said, if there's anybody who's actively day trading at the moment, just how they found the last week. As I said, I would imagine that it's been um, been been quite difficult with these small ranges. Angela, a Chinese New Year, I think, it, yeah, an effect on the market. I would imagine so. It's a, it's a, obviously a big marketplace over there. So I think, yeah, so I think that's going to have uh, have an effect. Um, right. Let's so let's just go through a couple of the uh, a couple of bits of news and maybe you know as I said, this is it's reasonably planned, but maybe it's just giving a, a sort of positive nudge to the market. Uh, first of all, um, Microsoft. I'm just going to get onto the blog here. Uh, Microsoft. I mean, Microsoft uh, accept Bitcoin uh, part of their payments anyhow. Uh, but what they're going to say is that they uh, are they going to use the original. Uh, Bitcoin uh, as part of it. Let me just see where I can get it so I can just show you the interesting bits uh, that they're going to use the original Bitcoin uh, on top of the blockchain technology um, for their uh, new digital identity. Um, there we go, encrypted digital identity hubs. Um, where are we? Uh, um, 
Right, here we go. Uh, while some blockchain communities have increased on-chain transaction capacity, blockchain sizes, this approach generally degrades the decentralized state of the network and cannot reach the millions of transactions per second the system would generate at world scale. So basically what they're saying is they, 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 uh, they like the technology and it looks like they're going to use uh, Bitcoin technology overall. Um, so, I mean, obviously that gives Bitcoin a, a little bit of a hand up um, and I think Bitcoin still kind of leading, it's leading the market uh, trend anyhow, it may not uh, out, uh, outdo or uh, other coins, but I, I think it's just the, the trend. Um, what else has been going? Oh yeah, oh, the ECB, ECB, where are you? Um, I did have it up here. Here we go. Uh, ECB came out, yeah, Mario Draghi came out there, and this is on the um, ECB website, as you can see, explainers. Basically, they are saying that uh, Bitcoin uh, is not a currency, virtual, yes, but currency, no. To be honest with you, the rest of it is fairly, um, fairly norm. Um, basically, uh, this is quite interesting. It's not the ECB's responsibility to ban or regulate crypto, uh, Bitcoin or any other currencies, but given the lack of consumer protection, as we know about, it is important to exercise caution. So basically, they're not. it looks like they're not going to put anything on the uh, cryptocurrency market as at this particular moment. Uh, somebody else actually sent me an email uh, during the week and pointed me to, hey, Arizona, uh, the Arizona Senate has passed a bill to allow... Um, uh, residents to pay their uh, their their taxes with their uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, basically cryptocurrencies that are recognised by them. Uh, so I, I think it was including the ones they mentioned: uh, uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, um, Ethereum, I believe, is what I'm not trying to show. But anyway, I mean that's that's a you know a, you know that's I suppose that's a, that's a positive sign you can look at. So you're saying that uh, if a government's uh, or if a state's turning around and saying, yeah, you can you can use these cryptocurrencies to pay your taxes, that's a sort of uh, so I think that's a little bit of a little bit of a positive push uh, on the negative side. Well, not negative really. Iceland uh, apparently are saying now that. Um, more electricity is going to be used in the future for bit <laughs> for cryptocurrency mining than it is for powering homes. Uh, I can't see that um, pleasing too many people. And on just a slightly negative uh, one, and a couple of people have also already asked about Litecoin. Uh, I'm just going to go. This is uh, Charlie Lee's um, tweet feed. And, and there's a talk that there's going to be a Litecoin fork, and that's going to create Litecoin cash. And basically, this is, I believe, this is the um, official Charlie Lee account, who's the, uh, you know, started, basically started Litecoin. And he said, the Litecoin team and I are not forking Litecoins. Any forks that you hear about is a scam trying to confuse you. Do you think it's related to Litecoin? Don't fall for it and definitely don't enter your private key. So uh, that's worthwhile. Be very careful. Um, the, the fork was put forward by someone called the Litecoin Cash Foundation. Uh, not much is known about them. So just be careful on that one. OK, so I mean, if this guy says it's a, a scam, uh, I would take notice. Um, I just had a thing on a couple of day, uh, day trading. Martin saying, been waiting for the breakout to do any day trading on BTC, ETH, LCC. Um, could be breaking higher on Bitcoin, US dollar. I think that's probably about right, actually. Um, so, yeah, anyhow, uh, Litecoin, people involved in Litecoin, be wary of this Litecoin cash fork, scam, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's have a look at some charts. We're going to start with the Bitcoin. Um, as I said, this is, this, I think this is a quite a positive setup, and I quite like the way that it's not jumping around either. I quite like the way that the trend is it's being built and it looks like every time that there's a little bit of selling interest as you get say on this fork here the red fork here the red fork here red fork here buyers are coming back in and taking the price higher as i said that is giving you these higher lows and that's a positive sign if you get lower highs as you get here 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 that's your negative sign so that's one to look out for on the charts um 
the momentum from these uh, lower, uh, higher lows, you uh, can be seen in the stochastics indicators here, which are pointing higher. Uh, maybe market may be slightly overdone. I'm not sure, too sure at the moment. Sometimes these things uh, lag. And you can see here this, we got into over overbought territory and stayed there for a fair few days on this section here. And as you can see, that related to the market jumping higher. Um, as always, the, the one set, uh, area that I've been looking at is this uh, block here between about nine two, uh, about nine. Th we'll just say nine three and nine nine as on, on the wide. Uh, it, 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 just double check whichever chart system you're using. The reason it's important to me is because there've been quite a few touches on it. You had the low here, you had a low there, you had a there, just about there. Had these two creeping into it. You had a, a, a bulk at it there. Tried again to get into it, refused. Tried again to get into it, refused. And so you can see now, we're just, where are we now? Uh, 9,100. We are entering this zone, this nine, uh, 999399 zone. And I think this is going to be the interesting one to watch. Um, because I think if we can push through here, we may have a couple of failures as we did with uh, this, and then we may have to reevaluate the charts. But I think that this area remains of great interest. I think if we can get a close above here or a couple of closes above the upper level here, 9985, whatever it is, um, 10,000 comes back into view, obviously. Um, that will generate headlines. That will then bring this next trading area into uh, block into view, which is around the 10.7 to the, where are we there? To around the 11.6, which also at the at near the bottom side of it has got this Fibonacci retracement at 10,900. Again, this low's had a couple of touches here, 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 uh, here, here, and here. So it's it's a reasonably strong zone. So I, I personally think that what we're going to do is we are going to get a bit of a slow grind higher. We're going to come into this zone. Maybe there'll be a bit of consideration what's going on, or maybe that will trigger buyers into coming into trying to take it, take, take it up to 10,000 or more just to get your new headline figure back again. Um, but as I said, I like this setup, these low, higher lows. And if we can carry on doing that, uh, as I said, this this level here looks good, looks good. And as I said, closes above here. And if we can start repeating this chart pattern, we may even start to get a another upside trend going. So, um, yep, yeah, mildly bullish on uh, Bitcoin. We have been all week actually. We did, I did an article beginning of the week when around eight two eight three, and 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 all the charts then were looking reasonably strong. Um, let's have a look at some other ones. Uh, Ethereum. No, get rid of all these. Uh, again, nice lot of higher lows. Higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. Just the one falter. Higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. Uh, also, we have broken above this 853, 50% uh, Fibonacci retracement. I'd like to see some closes above that, actually just to confirm strength. Uh, and then I do see uh, 988 on the cards quite simple, quite uh, quite easily. Um, the only one thing that does worry is this pattern here, this uptrend here, is kind of being replicated here. So what we just need to be slightly wary of is this, there's, there's any kind of these breakouts. But at the moment, it still looks reasonably strong. And it looks like we could have some more to go on the from the stochastics point of view. So again, uh, further upside. Don't expect a massive, uh, as I said, don't expect any of these big candles to start appearing. You know, five, ten percent movers. Uh, you know, if you just get grind, start grinding higher, three, four percent higher, build some decent base underneath us. Uh, that's probably be better for the market in the long term, anyhow. Um, it, it's it's much better to have, as I said stable foundations and then to build sort of explosive growth if that's what you're still looking for uh, on the back of that but um as i said uh, it's you know another chart set up pretty similar to bitcoin really um but as i said let's get a close a nice couple of closes above 853 it looks like it may happen we're up at 887 uh you know 
I mean, I think, uh, as I said, mildly positive again on Ethereum. Uh, let me just double check on questions and stuff like that. I've been waiting for the breakout to do any day trading. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if you're going to see breakout points at the moment, Martin. And we, we, we're looking at the ones on the Bitcoin when we, we look to that zone. I, I don't think you're going to get big jumps coming in at the moment, as I said, uh, big jumps or big slumps. Uh, as I said, I think the volatility is being taken out of the market for the time being. Uh, you know, these these sharp moves that we've had, uh, they do take a toll on people. Um, and as I said, I think what you're actually going to look for is, is slow grinds higher for the next few days. If we can get some of the technical uh, resistance levels out of the way, then you may start to see a little bit of volatility coming back into the market. Or obviously, you know, this is, this is putting any news aside. But as I said, slow grind higher again, uh, Ethereum, same, same as Bitcoin really. Um, da -dum, da -dum, let's have a look. Ripple. Uh, now, the one thing I like about Ripple, <clears throat> excuse me, is this zone that we were talking about here, which has also got the base of the Fibonacci retracement at 86 cents and then goes up to about 93 or 94 cents here. Again, it's been touched here, 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 here. Uh, there, there, there. What we've actually had, we've, we've now had three days of closing above this level. Um, I think that's quite a positive sign for Ripple. Um, I think that the downside is probably limited to, or, or I'd, I'd have a stop around 86 or 85 or something on the downside anyhow. Uh, worst case scenario, because I think a break would probably weaken it yet again back here. But these three closes above, Again, higher lows. X that one, high low, high low, high low. But we've got three closes above this zone, and I think that just going to give it a little bit more of a push. Your original, I think your next target's going to be up here around the 122, and then leading to this 138. So as I said, um, again, you can see the price action is quite limited. Those four candles, price action limited there, limited there, limited there. Bit of volatility on that one. What do we trade there from 9192 up to 122? So that was a quite a good move there. Um, yeah, again, I, I can see I'm slightly slightly more positive on Ripple than the other two, as I said, because of these closes above what I think is quite an important level. Um, again, I don't think you're going to be jumping up here, but I think you're going to see just sort of incremental movement, just pushing you higher, just pushing you higher. Uh, as I said, Ripple looks, uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice setup. It's, it's a more, slightly more positive setup. Um, what other ones are we going to have a look at? People keep asking about Litecoin. Now, I'm not the best on Litecoin. I must be honest with you. Um, and this news that we were talking about earlier about this uh, Litecoin Cash uh, potential fork or scam, whatever it is, um, I'm, I'm not sure if that's been behind some of this price action. Uh, I suppose what we can look, say, from the charts is if you're looking at, at, at technicals, you can look at here, you can look at about here, sort of here, and, and you're getting, you've got some kind of, you know, these were providing a bit of downside resistance to start with. And if you just draw a very basic, and this is, this is very basic uh, charting, and you, you get this kind of, Slightly ascending triangle, but what interests me is this: where this triangle kind of meets this zone, this blue line, this faint blue line. It's also kind of at the corner of this uh, triangle here, and he and he's seen this explosive jump. Now, as I said, I, I'm wary that that may be that people have been maybe buying it on the basis that uh, of this fork, or if this fork's there or not. But I mean, it, that's quite a good, um, you know. That's a good breakout. That is a good breakout, and I think it would take quite a lot to uh, to, to put it back underneath this line of around 155, uh, something like this. As I said, depending on which uh, chart you use or which uh, where you get your input for your prices from. But as you can see, we've sort of gone from the 155 and we've jumped up to the 195, and that, that's a good that's a good market, and we're and we're still trading near the top here. Targets there would have these triangles, um, and really, 
I can't really see any reason not to to push that to about there. But as I said, I am slightly wary of um, of this bit, uh, this uh, this fork. Um, here you can see which kind of trading around that low there before we pushed higher. Um, but that's a positive breakout. That is a positive breakout for Litecoin. Um, yeah, reasonably positive. But as I said, I'm, I'm <clears throat> I would maybe I, personally I'd step back from that. But that's because I'm I'm not uh, uh, really uh, an expert on that particular digital coin. And really, apart from that, as I said, it's it's difficult to really get anything else out of these charts. As I said, I'm just repeating myself. Really, slow grinds higher. Higher lows, slow grind, slow grind higher, pushing into these sort of technical resistance zones. There on Bitcoin, Ripple, slightly more positive setup because of three these three uh, candles there, but they are small candles, slightly wary. Ethereum really is. We've got the same setup as Bitcoin, grind higher. Um, let's see some closes above this um, Fibo. Litecoin, yeah, okay. As I said, um, if you like that one, be wary. But that is a good, uh, that's a nice chart breakout from a very, very basic downtrend. Okay, that's, that's not a particularly uh, good downtrend, but with this line, is there the way it just kind of coincides? It's uh, yeah, it just gives it a little bit of positive momentum there and could push higher again. Um, yeah, to be honest with you, I, I'm not sure what else to say. Unless you've got any other questions, I may uh, leave you to go and make your fortunes. Um, obviously, we'll be doing this again next week. Uh, another one I'm going to look at again next week is I may look at um, uh, maybe do Ethereum, Bitcoin again, and maybe uh, actually on the basis of this, even do uh, Litecoin versus Bitcoin. Um, I would imagine this move here is as you Litecoin is outperforming uh, reasonably well on the, in the short term against. Uh, let's have a, see if we can maybe do it now. Let's have a look. Okay, let's let's try and do it now. LTH Litecoin Bitcoin. Okay, it's on Binance, but okay, let's see how that works out. Um, just to just expand it there. Oh, thanks. Uh, we only jumped above this high here, haven't we? This, so this is um, this is Litecoin here. This is Litecoin uh, outperforming Bitcoin. So we've gotten down from. I mean, don't know how accurate. Okay, let's just take that. That's a real horrible spike low there. Let's take there, there. So yeah, we've had quite a good uh, performance. Taken out that uh, that high there. Let me just go back a bit. What we've actually done is we've also taken out that high there. It, you know, again, that could. Um, I'm not sure if that's where chartists wanted it. What you know was there with their target, but if we can get close above that level, uh, maybe Litecoin can continue to outperform Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, it's a good support there. In that zone there, some nice support here. The grind, the grind high, the grind high, the explosion which we saw today. So yeah, maybe I should take. Uh, yeah, we'll have a look at. We'll have a look at this chart again next week and uh, and see where we go. Right. Um, okay. Let's, thanks for that. As I said, I'm sorry. It's to, this, as I said, it's uh, it's not an exciting market at the moment. It's, it's still a market you can make money in if you use the the disciplines and uh, and uh, your stops make sure that you know exactly why you want to get in where you want to get in and what you get want to get out of the market um so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave you i'm going to wish you a good day um this webinar will uh it's going to be it'll actually be attached to this story that i did earlier um so if you want to listen to it again it'll it'll be uh, attached to this story here in about an hour and a half's time or it'll be on our YouTube channel where you can get all of the daily FX videos and um, 
Anyhow, so if you if you want to hear it again and check any other uh, recheck any other chart points, then please do. Uh, until then, um, have a good day, and I will see you and speak to you again next week. Goodbye for now. Cheers.